Bunch of Crunch Army, where you at? Your motivation guy is back. Let me ask you this, what are you waiting for? Because greatness is waiting for you. He's a Fortnite world champion. Gentlemen, there's no way anyone beats him. Your Fortnite world champion, Booga! He wins consistently without even breaking a sweat. What the ah! oh, dude. No Holy way. So good. Oh, want Let's go, go, dude. Go, dude. But how does Booga manage to stay so perfectly calm, you know, in the midst of chaos of a pro match? Yeah, there's teams in these old builds. We need to spray this. I got, right, I got a quick. Uh, I'm like 300. Let me lead. You need to Bro, pressure these teams under. Down. Like, pressure this metal down. team. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the World Cup winner himself, Booga. You know, there's one thing that really sets Booga apart from the rest of the Fortnite pros out there, and it isn't his incredible aim or his cracked building ability. It's his mindset and how he never lets fear or panic overtake his cool, collected, and calm persona during chaos of a pro endgame. You know, there are five easy habits that let Booga sell through major Fortnite tournaments carefree. And if you manage, guys, to incorporate some of them into your games, who knows, you may end up being the next world champ. So it begins before Booga even sits down at his desk or at a tournament rig. It began right when Booga started playing Fortnite and not even in a competitive sense. I mean, he's been a part of the scene practically since the scene began. And that comes with certain benefits, right? Essentially, Fortnite is Booga's game and he keeps that in mind to keep his head in the right space. So even the most talented and highly trained Fortnite players can sometimes become hesitant and indecisive in the middle of a match. Maybe they'll hesitate on a rotate and it causes them to get caught out. Maybe they'll heal just a second too late and fall into the storm too early. Maybe they'll even hesitate on an edit or, or just a fraction of a second, which could lose them the entire box fight. It happens to pros guys and it happens to pretty much anybody. Anybody. It happens to Booga less than almost anybody else, and that's because he knows that Fortnite is his game, and he really trusts that. Booga started playing Fortnite way back in the days of Save the World before Battle Royale was even a thing because he was introduced to the game by his dad, who was also a gamer. So it didn't take long for Booga to find Battle Royale though, and from there, you know, he just began his journey as just another gamer to one of the best to have ever touched Fortnite. It didn't happen overnight. Booga didn't suddenly just wake up one day as the best player in Fortnite. He had to work at it. He trained night after night. He streamed for countless hours. He played too many games to even remember. Slowly, he built up his skill levels. He competed in scrims. He played in small tournaments. Sure, he had no LAN experience by the time the World Cup came around, but he had hundreds, if not thousands of hours playing Fortnite. He had earned his way into every single tournament that he had played, and he was able just to trust his game. Basically, while he plays in high stakes environments, Booga is able just to switch off, you know, that analytical part of his mind. Instead of just overthinking every single decision that comes his way, instead of just hesitating when the time came to make choices that would impact the game, he can just default to all of the training and games that he's played in the past. He builds so quickly because he isn't thinking about it. His body is just moving, you know, instinctively. His muscle memory knows exactly what to do before his brain even realizes, like, what's going on. Does this sound like Ultra Instinct to anybody else? Trusting your game and being confident in your own ability is basically using Ultra Instinct. And that doesn't mean Booga isn't thinking at all, all right? That would be, that would be crazy. <laughs> he's just not focusing on the minuscule things of every single game. Instead, he's focusing exactly on what he can control. So when you're playing any sort of game, there is a trap that you can easily fall into. You know, you don't even need to be playing a competitive game. It's the trap of blaming things that are completely uncontrollable. When it comes to Fortnite, focusing on things that you can't control can just vary from people landing right on top of you, like what happened in Booga's first World Cup match, to a lag in the end game or just being eliminated at the start of a match. Focusing on any of that stuff is the path to failure, which is why Booga doesn't do it. Think of it like this, you're Booga. It's the second game of the World Cup Finals. You've just come off the back of a huge win in the first game, so you're really feeling good about things, right? Then out of nowhere, at the beginning of game two, you're eliminated by Sazman. And there was nothing you could have done about it. It would have been easy here for Booga just to lose it. I mean, he was the ninth player to be eliminated in the match, and his colossal lead that he gained in the first game was about to be seriously cut down by the next winner. But is that how he reacted? Not at all. 
There was no immediate emotional knee-jerk reaction. He didn't freak out, and he didn't suddenly just start panicking. Booger retreated to what I'm gonna call the eye of the storm. Around him, the match was still going on, and the chaos of the Arthur Ashe Arena was pounding like a drum. And his emotions would have been on a roller coaster, going from the highest of highs from the win in Game 1 to the lowest of lows after losing in Game 2. The pressure was on. But Booga took a step back. He took a breath, and he centered himself for the future. There was no use in, you know, getting worked up about what had happened. There were many, many more opportunities ahead. And in those future games, he needed to actually focus on what he could control. Booga won the World Cup. So this is probably easier for him to do these days. But, you know, one of the best things that you can do to help yourself keep calm when you're playing in something like arena or a tournament is to actually downsize the importance of each event. Before the latest FNCS event, Booga put out a call on Twitter. He said that he would be landing at Starks no matter the heat. What does this show Booga is actually doing in the run-up to the tournament? It shows that he's not putting any real importance on the tournament. What ended up happening anyway? Well, they won the first heat and came out in third place in the grand finals. It sounds counterproductive, but what this proves is that sometimes to perform well, you have to play down the importance of the situation that you're in. Okay, so if you view the finals of an event like the FNCS as just another game to play, rather than the be-all and end-all of your competitive career, you're going to take a whole bunch of pressure off your shoulders and you're able just to settle into the game much easier. Instead of playing as competitively as he could, Booga just treated the latest FNCS as an opportunity to just show himself what he was made of. And he and his team dropped every game at one of the most highly contested points of the map and played it like they had absolutely nothing to lose. And so that allowed him to give it his all even easier. The edge was well and truly off. There was no reason to panic or choke. The worst thing that could have happened was just losing the competition. And really, is losing one FNCS such a big deal? Booga knows that he could just bounce back from something like that. So why worry about it to begin with? But it's not just about downplaying the importance of each individual match and each individual tournament. The big key to keeping your stress levels down is to remember why you started playing Fortnite to begin with and to keep that thought with you whenever you're playing. Okay, you started playing Fortnite because it was fun, right? And keeping things fun is the number way to keep yourself calm and collected in a match. That was where Booga started. The joy of playing Fortnite that just ended up evolving into something so much more. And it was a feeling of fun and excitement that just never ended up dying down. So let's take things back to the World Cup. After the event had come to a close and the interviews with Booga, his friends and his family had started up. One thing stood out to me beyond all the other quotes. It was from Booga's best friend, Khalid Bradley, who told reporters that on the morning of the final, Booga was worryless, <laughs> energetic, and having fun to make sure he wasn't stressed at all. When you think about stress, you have to remember that really is just a state of mind. You know, when you're stressed, your body is producing a ton of cortisol, which knocks your body down into a fight or flight response that just can't deal with complex situations. So being happy and having fun is the total opposite of all of that. Instead of just producing a bunch of cortisol, your body releases serotonin. Okay, so why am I talking about serotonin? <laughs> well, when it comes to brain chemicals and competition, really, a healthy balance of serotonin is exactly what you need to keep calm. It's the chemical that reminds people to pay attention, you know, to learn from mistakes, to promote behaviors that lead to success. In other words, Booga having fun before a tournament is his body's way, you know, to balance out his serotonin and just really make sure his mindset is primed for the maximum amount of success. There's one final thing that Booga has that really allows him to keep calm, and it's something that has absolutely nothing to do with the game. It's the support system that he has, that he's built up over the years. Booga's support system is second to none, and honestly, it's probably a major component of his continued success. His dad has been a gamer all of his life and was actually the person that got Booga into playing Fortnite in the first place. He played it with his friends when he started playing the game to begin with, and they gave him the push he needed to get started. He has well over now a million fans worldwide always pushing him to do the best and really supporting him when he needs it not to mention he has pro friends and the whole sentinel team backing him up so a good support structure isn't just good for making you feel happy it's good for keeping you calm too 
if Booga has ever had a bad game in a tournament, he could just reach out to his family who will always be there to support him and love him. He could reach out to his friends who will always help him get his head back up in the game. He could reach out to his fans who will always be there to lift him back up. He could reach out to his team who will help him train and get better than ever before. It's been proven that having a well-built support structure filled with people that you trust and respect it's gonna help you feel more grounded and calm. And that's because the security of having people close to you that you know you know is gonna help you out in, in a tough spot can really help you control your stress and anxiety. Sure, okay, not everybody is gonna have millions of subscribers on YouTube or followers on Twitter, but reaching out to your friends and family if you're in a high stress tournament situation is really, really sure to bring back your mindset you know, to a calmer state. So those are the five of the most, you know, psychological tricks that Booga uses to keep calm and banish stress, you know, in the middle of some of the most stressful tournament matches. You know, he knows he belongs there, you know, thanks to the hours upon hours of training. He keeps his mind on things that he can control and not on random elements of the game. He downplays the importance of his matches, allowing him to maximize his performance. He has fun, you know, keeping his cortisol down and his serotonin balance. And finally, you know, when he really needs to be, he has his support circle to keep him on track. Thanks for watching again, Bunch of Crunch Army, where you at? If you guys enjoyed the video, then don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and click that all important bell button so you guys can get notified whenever we upload a new video. Once again, I am your motivation guy, and I'll see you soon.